Indigenous mythology and folklore are often dismissed as legends and parables, but what if a tribe's lore contained precise locations of astronomical buddies and phenomena that weren't discovered by modern science for hundreds of years? The Dogon tribe is that tribe they have known for centuries, that their ancestors are descendants of a species from the Sirius star system eight and a half light years away. The Dogon people live in Malay's Bandigur Escarpment, stretch of sandstone cliffs nearly 100 miles long, Reaching up to 1,500 feet high, the area provided natural protection, and the tribe built their homes on the side of the cliffs during the 3rd century BC. French anthropologists discovered the Dagon's advanced astronomical knowledge in the 1930s despite their primitive lifestyle. Anthropologist Marcel Grell learned of the Dagon tribe's obsession with the Sirius star system. While Sirius is visible to the naked eye, its companion white dwarf Sirius B was not discovered until the 1950s with an advanced telescope. The Dagon, however, were well aware of its presence as well as its orbital period, describing its existence before it was confirmed years later. The Dogon also claim that there is a third star in the Sirius system that has yet to be discovered, and gravitational observations might prove their claim to be true. The Dagon's knowledge of the Sirius star system was represented in 400-year-old artifacts and included their understanding of subatomic particles and their theory of the universe's creation that was similar to the Big Bang. Carl Sagan weighed in on the Dagon tribe's supposed celestial knowledge, disavowing the idea that it could have come from otherworldly beings. However, Sagan's analysis did not touch upon the fact that their knowledge was represented in ancient artifacts, nor did he acknowledge their understanding of the state of Sirius B, a dying star. The Dagon tribe referred to the beings from Sirius as the Namos or Namos, who were mostly aquatic but mobile on land. They appeared only to a small sect of the Dagon tribe, but soon, an extensive contact with humans would have a negative impact on their well-being. Every 60 years, when Sirius appears between two mountain peaks marking a cycle in its orbit, the Dagon hold a celebration called Sigit. The younger men of the tribe sequester themselves from the rest of the group for a few months, speaking in a secret language. During the celebration, the Dagon's knowledge is passed down to future generations, but there is supposedly secret and similar amphibious godlike beings appeared in ancient cultures outside of the Dagon, from Babylonia to Greece and even Slavic nations. All Alternative theories point to statues of the Dogu in Japan that resemble an astronaut or being in a spacesuit. In ancient Mesopotamian lore, a deity known as Dagon or Dagon was depicted as a merman or fish god, a depiction also seen in the Hebrew Bible. The Dagon's connection with Egypt is the most intriguing, as the language they use to describe the Sirius star system consists of ancient Egyptian words that have not been used for centuries. Other similarities between the two cultures can be seen in the way they organized their civilizations such as the creation of an upper and lower kingdom and a 360-day calendar. The Dagon did not have a written language to this day and continued to pass down their history to select members of the tribe by word of mouth. The Dagon tribe's advanced astronomical knowledge challenges our understanding of ancient cultures and the origins of astronomical discovery.